Amboseli, a magical mix of the mighty Kilimanjaro and huge Tusker elephants. We're staying here at Tawi Lodge in the shadow of the highest mountain in Africa and on the cusp of Amboseli National Park. Craig, the oldest tusker of them all, is regularly seen in this area. There are around 2,000 elephants in Amboseli. The huge tusks are thought to be passed on through family genes via the female line. Elephants need to drink water every day to survive, and this swampy area near Amboseli Airstrip is a great place to view these magnificent animals, along with an incredible diversity of other species. But this lush area around the swamp is misleading. Amboseli and its animals are suffering. After big floods in 2019, it's been a time of terrible drought. Many animals are starving to death. The savannah is littered with carcasses. The cleanup squads are doing their best, but they can't keep up with all the food on offer. There's no hope of rain for another few months at least, so many more will die especially the wildebeest who need fresh green shoots to survive. But the positive twist in this tale is that elephant numbers are actually increasing. Unlike the wildebeest, they are very versatile eaters, happy to feed from both the ground and trees. So they've not been affected by the drought as much as some other species. And due to the fantastic work done by some conservation groups, there's been a vast reduction in the deaths caused by us humans. Not a single elephant has been poached in this area for years, and the hard work to find ways for local communities and elephants to coexist is working really well. Kenya Wildlife Service and Big Life Foundation are just two of the organisations who have worked tirelessly to achieve this turnaround in the fortune of the elephants here. This gives me hope that Craig and all his descendants will continue to flourish in this magical land of the Big Tusker.